Hiya, Laura here from the Earliest Alliance. Today in our big cut little session we're going to be making macaroni cheese. So again, I need to be here on my hob. I'm just going to turn it on to warm it up. Very beep. So just put heat on a little low. So I've just washed my hands and I've popped my apron on so that I don't get all my clothes dirty. So I've never made this before, so this is the first time I've ever made macaroni cheese myself. So what I had to do was boil some pasta ready. You can use any sort of pasta, the special macaroni pasta, but I've got twirly pasta. So this is all pre-cooked. And then the next thing we need is some garlic. So you can use proper garlic, or if you're like me and you like cheating garlic, so you can get the cheated garlic in tubes like this, or, excuse me, in a jar. It's a brand new one. So you need a little squirt of garlic or a teaspoon or a clove so I'll give it a little pop in there so there's the garlic so in goes the garlic and a teaspoon of English mustard so my English mustard in there oh, the garlic's very strong so I need to oh and that's Oh, here's my spoon. I need to give that a little stir just for a minute. So mix them together. Oh, it's a very, very strong smell. Right, then we need three, three, but I'm half this because there's a lot of pasta. So we need one and a half of plain flour. So there's one. And half. That's the plain flour. That's that done. So you need to give that a bit of a stir so they all stir them together. So a very funny combination there. Right, so we've done that. Then we need to a whisk. There's a whisk. We need to whisk in some milk. So here it's whole milk that you need. So again I've got a Oh, a new pint of milk. So, take my spoon out. Pop the, oh, the garlic's very, very strong. Pop that in. So then you need to add your milk. So you pour it in. And gently, I need about half of this. That's it. Oh! I'm doing very well today. Gently, keep whisking until you've got a lump of the sauce. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. So we'll whisk. It's like this. It's got lots of different things and it's shaped a bit like a balloon when you hold it up this way. So keep stirring this. So it says as you stir, it will thicken up. So can you see? So it's a spoon there. My hob is very hot because it's red, so you need to make sure you've got your mummy's Daddy's there helping you to make sure you don't get burned. So keep whisking. You'll have arm mate, so you're going to have to have really strong arms while you're doing this one. It sounds like you'll be really, really. You need to be really, really strong. So you can. Sometimes when you whisk, if you can see, when I'm whisking, it's making bubbles in the milk. All the flour around the edge. So because it makes quite a lot, I've half the mixture. So I've half the amount of pasta, half the amount of milk, half the amount of garlic, and half the amount of mustard powder. Because that is just the in here. There's quite a lot of pasta, as you can see. So that will make that's just like half the amount. It says on the. Uh, Recipe. So it's still going, but it's not getting very thick. So I've got to keep whisking. So macaroni cheese is really yummy. I love macaroni cheese. So you can have it on its own. Because macaroni cheese and some people like to have it as a starter with their meals or just as a main meal and other people sometimes like to put some sort of meats in them so some people like to put 
bacon or you can put corn pieces in if you don't like to eat meat and that makes it really nice and sometimes you can get in a jar they are called um crispy onions and they're like crisps but the onions that are like crisps and they're really nice so there we go there's our sauce so let's take that off the heat just turn the heat off and then oh excuse me i need to oh stir in some cheddar cheese there's lots of cheese here that's what you need for macaroni and cheese to make it really cheesy so I'm just going to take my whisk out. So I use my spoon slowly to pop ooh, all this cheese in. So this is cheddar cheese I'm using. And as well as cheddar cheese, you need a little bit of Parmesan cheese. So this is an Italian grated cheese. Ooh, I missed a bit of cheese there. So, Open. So just a little bit of parmesan, it's very smelly when you open the packet, so I'm going to pour some of that on, put that in, and now, put the whisk out of the way, we need to stir all of this into our sauce, and this is what makes it really cheesy, it also makes it really creamy. This smells absolutely delicious. It's quite nice, thick. Can you see? It's a nice, thick, cheesy sauce. Okay. I'll just pop it on the warm hob just for a minute so it melts a little bit of the cheese that's in there. I'll stir. And now, Need to add it to the pasta. So, because it's very hot, you need to be really careful. So, you might need to get a grown up to add this in. So, give it a pour. Oh, it's a bit trippy. Wow. So, now we need to mix all this together. Oops, my cooker's beeping at me. So, are we ready? Mix, mix, mix. Mix it up, mix it in the bowl. Stir it, whoopsie. Stir it, stir it, stir it, stir it. Now you've reached your goal. Wow. So there we have our gooey macaroni cheese. So what I'm going to do is, now I'm going to pop it into some foil containers. So you want, you can have it straight away on your plate, but it's not quite lunchtime yet, so... We need to pop it in a, you can see all the gooey cheese is all melty in there, it looks delicious. So there's one, pop it in there, and there's two. So half the amount that it says on the recipe um, will fill up two foil containers. So, and then, let's pop this out the way. I have done one thing which I forgot. Oh, no, it's here. I've got some herbs. I'm just going to put a little sprinkle of mixed herbs on the top. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Oopsie. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm not going to well, so I'm making a right mess. So, there is our mac Oops. macaroni cheese. So, I hope you enjoyed your making your macaroni cheese with me today. And it's time to say goodbye now. So I need to wash all these up, give the cooker a clean. And then I'll have some of these for my lunch later on. So, well, should we have our wavy hands? Are we ready? Goodbye, all the girls. Goodbye, all the boys. Goodbye, everyone. I hope to see you soon. So it's lovely to see you today on a big cutlet cook session. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye.